at the night time when there is reflection of moon is visible upon the surface of sea and it, it looks like as the sea has wear a garland or a pendant of moon in her neck so it look so it look very beautiful the winds that will be howling at all hours are and are up gathered now like sleeping flowers again he says that the winds the wind that will howling at all hours the wind that blow during the daytime it blow very fiercely but during the night time it is very calm and up gathered now like sleeping flowers it is calm it is up gathered it is calm as the flowers slip so the wind that is fearful that run very fiercely during the daytime but during the night time it is calm like the flowers which are sleeping during the night time for this and for everything he says that for this and for everything he gave the example of two things which belong to natural beauty and he says that for this kind of natural beauty and for everything nature has many nature consists of many beautiful things but for everything that is beautiful in nature we are out of tune it means we don't pay attention towards these natural beautiful things it moves us not here the poet shows a note of lament repentance sadness he says that nature gave us lots of thing for that we don't require to pay anything even then we don't pay attention towards these things and even these things don't move us great god i would be a pagan circled in a tree out from therefore he pray to god great god he pray to that almighty god he wish i would be a pagan pagan are the people who were the worshipper of nature they were the firm believer in a polythe polytheistic religion polytheistic religion means the people who believe in many gods and goddesses so once again in this materialistic world man the people are only engaged in getting money and wants to gather the things which are materialistic which don't belong to nature so in this environment he once again wants to be a pagan he wants to worship nature he wants to appreciate nature he wants to re- live in nature so he says that he want to be a he want to be once again a simple innocent people 
circled in a creed outworn outworn here means obsolete obsolete means which are no longer the things which does not exist any long so he says that those pagans who were the simple and innocent people are now obsolete who used to have faith in many god and goddesses so here the writer once again wants to be a pagan so might and he says that if i were a pagan then i standing on this pleasant lee lee here means meadow pasture he says that i want to stand on a beautiful pasture having glimpses that would make me less forlorn and he says that he wants to have glimpses glimpses here means in sight it means he wants to see he wants to look at the things which would make him no longer unhappy when he see in this in the city life he feel sad when he look at the people who are engaged in this world so he says that those things make him unhappy but now he wants to become a pagan and he wants to stand on a pasture and he wants to look at the and he wants to look at those sights which the pagans used to see and he believes that those sights will give him happiness have sight of proteus rising from the sea and he wants to see he wants to look at the beauty of the nature he wants to stand at the shore of sea and he wants to see proteus proteus is the sea god proteus is son of orsinus and tithes it was believed in the polytheistic religion that proteus is a sea god therefore he wants to stand and want to see proteus rising from the sea or here all triton blow his red horn triton is another god this upper part of the body having a human form and the lower that of a fish like a mermaid means jalpari triton in greek mythology is the son of poseidon and amphitryal so he wants to see proteus rising from the sea and also he wants to hear the blowing of crunch the sound the, the melodious sweet sound of crunch which was blown by triton so in this poem we see the romantic elements here the poet expresses his love for nature and also here is a supernatural note because he talk about some 
he talk about proteas in triton which are supernatural which belong to the supernatural animal um, and here also we see a note of rejection of city life he wants to escape from the reality he wants to run away from this harsh world he wants to make companion to this nature this nature gives him new energy and rejuvenate him and here we also see the power of nature that the so this is all about the poem the world is too much with us so in the next video we will study about the literary terms and the literary figures which are used in this poem by william wordsworth